Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. And in today's video, we've got some news for this weekend where we do have 2X Ancient Shards confirmed as something that is going to happen. That is pretty exciting. Uh, and we're also gonna have a 10X event at the same time. And that 10X champion is for none other that where I'm trying, I'm trying to think it was biting time there. I'm like, which faction is he in? None other than Theodore the Savant. They actually did a 10x on him not too uh not too long ago, I think. But needless to say, Theodore the Savant is one of the best champions you can possibly pull from ancient charts in this game. So this is a brilliant 10x. I think in particular, I'm thinking for newer players right now, right? Newer players coming in. They've just received Artak recently, who's a HP burn explosion champion. Everybody's gotten him for free as part of the Call of the Arbiter stuff that's going on right now. And if you're a newer player, you're almost definitely pulling your Ancient Shards and 2X Ancients, trying to get those epics, trying to get some legendaries to really boost up your account. If you happen to hit Theodore, who is also, wait, it's this move, also a HP burn debuff explosion champion, that opens up a ton of huge opportunities for you in terms of building teams. It's absolutely massive. So for example, let's jump into, I've been mostly doing Ice Golem, this 3x retaliation. I think it's a brilliant event. I don't think I've actually mentioned it yet because it's kind of a surprise. But here we have a double HP burn explosion team. I've done a video on this team before. It's not quite perfect. Like we're slightly lacking damage uh here just due to walking tomb drang not being built quite right i've actually replaced tomb drang with artak believe it or not in one of my teams so we may one shot the spider with royal guard or he may live okay we actually one shot him that time so you can see this is what a double hp burn sort of thing can open up for you now this exact team might not work if you replaced sissy with theodore but there are other teams with theodore that could work like this for you the, the idea of how this team worked was we apply the burn with drang who cannot be resisted so it won't fail we explode it once we explode it a second time and then we've got two max hp nukes in there as well so cold heart's actually the fastest so everything spawns in to be burned um, she does a max HP nuke. Then we've got the AOE max HP nuke. We kill the spiderlings and, and so on. So I don't know, maybe with Theodore, this exact team would work just fine. Or you could use Ignatius instead of Drang. Uh, but yeah, look, just to give you an idea of what you can do. And Theodore is also extremely good, I think, still in Ice Golem, hard even, in Dragon, hard even. Uh, not a bad champion for some Hydra stuff either to throw him in there because he gives increased speed for your team and he can do AOE decrease speed A1. He's just a really good champion in general. So he is, I think, very highly rated, <laughs> extremely highly rated. The reviews speak for themselves like fives here, 4.9. People absolutely love this champion, apart from Arena. Uh, and he's not too important in like, but well, he's actually still really good for some Fire Knight stuff, believe it or not. Uh, and yeah, this is a champion you could get multiple of. Like you could run two potentially. I think I've even seen teams with three. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, okay, here we go. Actually, I'm, I hope he doesn't mind me sharing it. But uh, like SP uh, Panda, uh, I think they're I think, uh, the number one clan. I think he's the clan leader for the number one clan in the game right now. And I've been chatting to him about some stuff. So this is a super whale team, right? But with Artak and three Theodores, um, I think he said this is only uh, stage 25 of Ice Golem, but he was farming it in like 48 seconds. <laughs> and then he realized it was stage 25 and he switched over to hard. But there's just a lot you can do with this champion. He's absolutely insane. So I think honestly, for most people, let's be straight up. For most people, you are going to be pulling your Ancients and 2x Ancients, unless you're later in the game uh, and you don't care about the epics. And it's a pretty big win for you. couple of things to watch out for. I'd say two big things to watch out for that might put you off pulling for this so number one we would have the next fusion now it is unlikely so we've got ancients the next 2x should be for sacreds and then after that would be for voids so it should be the next fusion would we'll probably have 2x sacreds as part of it i would assume um we're miles off having ancients be part of a fusion unless something weird happens that's totally out of the norm that that almost never does so I'd expect 2x sacreds to be part of it. it. means it's going to be a pretty difficult fusion. Bear that in mind, right? Uh, also, people are thinking it might be a pretty good fusion. That would be the hope because we've had two, let's be honest, pretty poor uh, fusions back to back. 
Um, and I wouldn't be shocked if we heard about the fusion maybe tomorrow or Friday, maybe more likely, just because there's a bunch of 10x events going on right now. So I wouldn't be shocked if after these 10x events were gone, then they revealed what the next fusion might be. But yeah, look, 2x Sacreds is likely to be part of it. Um, they did double summon rush for Great Hoop Loriaka though. So who knows? They seem it seems like they're willing to mix things up. And we've also had ancient shards be boosted by 150. I wonder, is it still the wrong thing? I wonder, is it still the wrong text? Yes, it is. So for this one, get 250% more event points than usual for summoning ancient shards. That's not actually true. You get 250% of the usual points. You don't get 250% more. You get 150% more. So they're usually worth 20 points. So you're getting an extra 20, which is 100%, an extra 10 on top of that, which is 50%. You're getting 150% more, uh, which makes them pretty decent for this. But uh, yeah, Ancient Shards, they may have more value in the future. But that will be the main thing. If you're going to need some Ancient Shards to maybe bulk up some of your Champion Chase points, if you're going to be low on Shards for a 2x Sacred and Summon Rush Fusion, that might be extremely good and might be extremely worth it. That is something I would consider. I would also think that they could do a Guaranteed Champion soon, um, but it's a bit of a question mark. Would they do a Guaranteed Ancient Champion? They've just done one relatively recently with Alsgore. Um, so that makes me feel that they might not do a guaranteed ancient quite so quickly, but you never know. Um, the last one they did as well that could have involved ancients was Michinaki, which is a good bit, a bit, good bit ago now. And with Michinaki, that was a summon rush event, uh, and you had to, you could use any shards to help do it. So ancients pretty bad unless they do that boosted summon rush chance, but it's something to consider. Like they could do an ancient guaranteed. I said this in a video yesterday. Ruark maybe could get a look in soon-ish, right? Because we know that the new dungeon that's coming out definitely looks like more of an endgame dungeon, but Taunt looks to be something that could be powerful there because it's a single target focus boss. At least that's what they suggested in the What's Next video. Uh, excuse me, was that Taunt might be a crucial buff. Whether that's true or not, uh, we shall see. I mean, like, do we do Sand Devil in the intended way? Or uh, Iron Twins in the intended way? I don't know. Fire Knight hard? Do we use the freeze mechanics? I don't know about that. So we'll see, you know. But I think with the Sylvan Watcher faction crypt coming out and Taunt maybe being relevant for that new dungeon, I could see them doing like a guaranteed ancient event for Green Warden Ruark. He's, I would say, considered to be fairly poor. Yeah, sort of like four, you know, four out of five. He's, he's not an amazing legendary by any means, shape or form. Um, so I, I could definitely see them doing a guaranteed for him because of both the Sylvan Watcher Crypt and him potentially being useful in the new dungeon. It could be his time to shine. Uh, maybe he will be genuinely really good for that new dungeon. Who knows? Um, so for me, I'm actually quite low on shards and I'm not near my mercy timer at all. Uh, so for me, I'm not going to go for this 10x event. I'm going to keep saving my shards because there might be some good events in the future. But it does feel a little bit bad because Theodore is so unbelievably good. I would absolutely love to have him. And like, that's something I would say, like, you know, Green Warden Ruark, you know, I'm hyping him up here as much as possible in that sense. I'm trying to be as positive about it, but there's no question that Theodore, I, I would take Theodore, you know, if you ask me, 100 days in a row, would you rather have Theodore or Green Warden Ruark? I would choose Theodore every time. The issue being that 10x events are pretty terrible. Uh, like, you, you just, your chance to still get the champ is just very, very low. So, let me know. What do you think? What are you going to do? For me, the biggest winners out of this are just, you know, the regular players that are pulling in 2x events anyway. For their Ancients, they're going to be pulling anyway, and they're going to grab a Theodore. And I think that's going to be absolutely massive for them with Artak in there as well. I think that's a huge, huge win. So, yeah, if you are pulling shards, I wish you all the best of luck. Your account could be massively changed uh, in a hugely positive way. You could see huge success if you pull this champion. So, good luck. <laughs> I wish you the best. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. Let me know what you're going to do in the comments down below. Until then. Goodbye.